the city of Aurora plans to condemn an apartment complex with a long history of code violations. Yeah, residents there, some Venezuelan migrants, say they now have less than a week to find a new place to live with few options available. Fitzsimmons Place Apartment Complex is in northeast Aurora near Peoria and Colfax. The city of Aurora says they're shutting the 99-unit building down because of long-standing problems like rat and bug infestations, trash piling up, and a lack of heat and electricity. But someone who claims to be an investor in the property says the building is being shut down due to Venezuelan gang activity. Your reporter Jasmine Arenas has been digging into this story for us, joins us now in studio. And Jasmine, you got to look inside that complex today. Yeah, definitely. And I saw some of the issues the city is talking about, which Aurora says this is why it's forced to shut down the apartment complex. The family I spoke with tells me it's sad for the families that will have nowhere to go, including their own family, who now has less than a week to find shelter. For the past six years, Ines Guzman says she's seen her apartment complex on 1568 Nome Street go from bearable to a slum. Our hot water is turned off every week. We have to boil water to take a warm shower, and there's a lot of rats. The city of Aurora sent CBS Colorado these photos showing rodents found inside the units, and piles of endless garbage can be seen around the complex. They do nothing to help us, but we still pay rent on time. For now, this is what Inez can afford with her SSI check. She says the complex is now uninhabitable and dangerous. Inside her unit, decorated with Puerto Rican flags, she shows us how her floor is lifting due to mold underneath and her broken closet doors. But what's most disturbing to her and her family is the violence in the area and the gunshots they hear almost weekly, saying she found this bullet just outside her door. It's really hot. Shaira Kais is Ines's daughter. She and her husband moved into her mother, Ines's unit, a couple months ago to help her take care of their family member who is mentally ill. After she began to have health issues herself. It's really hard because she takes care of the rent with the small amount that they get. The 99-unit apartment complex is the epicenter of an intense debate where someone who claims to be an investor in the property says it's being shut down due to Venezuelan gang activity. Meanwhile, the city of Aurora claims it's due to long-standing unresolved code violations, which includes unpaid water bills from property management. There's a lot of stuff going in here. This is a mess. One the family says they're happy to see finally come to an end, but sad not knowing where they'll go next. I don't ask for help from me. I just want my mom to have a place. That's all. And Inez is currently paying about $1,600 in rent. The city of Aurora says no one at the city is denying or ignoring the possibility of organized crime impacts on this property or any other. However, what is critically important for the public and the property owners to understand is that the latest concerns they raise about possible gang activity on their property are immaterial and irrelevant to the long-standing code violations and the poor property conditions that have triggered the forthcoming abatement. We hope to have an interview from the owner of the property, and we'll bring that to you as soon as we do, Karen. Talking more about the tenants that are in there, what are they going to do? Are they, I mean, do they have any options? Right, and that's the question. Do they have any options? Well, given the city's limited ability to provide housing assistance, the city staff looks to coordinate with the state to marshal available resources and connect with nonprofits as well. Hopefully so. Keep us updated. Thank you, Jasmine.